Alrighty, guys. It is Thursday, the 15th of December. We're going to be tackling Freezing Over by Chris and Ohio. Funny, because Ohio was Monday's track. Making a double appearance within the week. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if this is ice or if it's just a cold aesthetic. We'll find out. Or maybe it's a little bit of everything. Again, we'll find out. Um, is there flying? Or is that just like how the car be? We'll find out. Yet again, me saying we'll find out. What the heck is this? There's a sky... Oh, there is a, there's a custom skybox. But this mountain here is the thing that caught my eye. Oh, I went into a GPS. Fine. I somehow managed to get myself into the GPS. Oh, is this the guy that made the, uh, that one track with these blocks on it? These, like, bridge blocks? Winter. Thank God. If it didn't say winter, I would have not known what it was talking about. Okay. Not too bad. Very simple. Easy to learn, hard to easy to learn, not hard to master kind of thing. Okay, I have to actually make that turn right. I'm trying to get all the transitions smooth. I have to be careful with that one specifically. So there's probably one drift there. Okay, don't do a flip there. It's a bad idea. Wait, hold on. What's over here? Nothing. That door is just open. Unfortunate that it doesn't lead to like a faster time. So there's a checkpoint here. Oh my god, and it's snow on all the edges, so like touching the edges are actually very um, detrimental. Ah. I wonder if the creator of this. So someone made these like wooden bridges. And I'm wondering if the creator of the wooden bridges developed some sort of script to make any sort of track shape out of them, because that's what it seems like. It seems like these are procedurally made. Seems like a very procedurally made sort of thing. Okay, nice. I tried to use the bump to get air, to get a drift going, but I did not succeed. Oh, touching the snow is extremely dangerous. Oh, I made that. That's surprising. Did not expect that. I think that's good because, well, I can't though. I was going to say, I want to use that as like a reference for my own, for like future PBs. So that I know where to aim. Sort of ingrain it into muscle memory. But unfortunately, I'm probably going to be ahead of my ghost at that point. That's weird. It's a strange drift. Okay. We don't want to touch the snow. It's super punishing to do that. It's a very awkward drift. But then the rest of this seems fine. Okay. 
It isn't actually that hard to aim for that, so. Makes it pretty good. Makes it pretty easy. Top 16. I'm suspending some sort of cut or maybe a risky finish that I missed. Let's look. 36-2. Okay, so there's literally a whole second faster. Where am I missing that? This looks... This visual effect makes it look a lot different, huh? Oh, you actually changed the dang camera. What a madman. Okay, so it is just like a second faster. I wonder where I'm missing that. Not like that. Hmm. I touched the snow. Really, this start is like a big, a big thing. We've flown. We've done the big fly. Was there water? Or is it just like a blue texture? It's just a blue texture. No water review today. Only because it's not real water. It's obviously fake water. You only get the water review if it's actual water. Okay, it's really easy to get a no slide there. Good to note. I touched the snow. I touched the snow. There's point six, getting there. Okay. Those trees are sideways. I just noticed. Okay. Yeah, like all these trees in the foreground are sideways, including the building. It's like we're sideways to start, but we're not. Most certainly not. Oh god. Trying to think of the best way to get around that corner. Okay, I think I'm slow still. there's any merit to like slowing down on that thing so that you don't get the air you just like stay on the ground Ooh, I went under the snow hmm just thinking I don't know how I want to do that. Maybe I do just do the tiny let up that I've been doing.
Gets me to land better. Point two. Okay, okay. We're getting there. I kind of want to do tests to see if my little route on that final straightaway where I jump kind of purposefully very far to the left. Uh, if that is at all faster. Went through the snow. That little drift is very complex. You have to make sure that you don't get a no slide from the the bridge section. And to get a jump from the little bridge section there. I touched the snow. I'm slow here. Oh. What if you go like far left to far right? What if you go left to right and like completely ignore ignore any fears that you would have of flying off to the right? Because it is it is tilting in the opposite direction of the way it is tilting in such a way that maybe you could like keep getting you could keep your you could keep your wheels on the ground maybe it's worth a shot basically No. I'm faster. I kind of want to be drifting as I'm going across that bump, so I have to, like, find the way that gets me a slide and also doesn't do, like, a no slide. Oh, that was good. Great start. Like that, that's a no slide. I even had a good start, that's unfortunate. I did it again though, it's fine. And then I ruined it on the tiny drift. I'm gonna use this to test if the uh the jump to the left strat works. Hmm, I think I jumped to the left too early. Oh god. That super didn't work. Hmm, I tried to slide, but I was and skid marks. Oh my god, I crashed. Good. I lost some speed to that. That's unfortunate. Oh 
Okay, I had a lot of speed loss, and I think it's because of my jump to the left. I think I would have... I think it's because I... Not that I would have landed sooner, but it's that I left the ground sooner than I than I would have if I just go until the I, gravity doesn't win. Until gravity doesn't win. <laughs> I did tiny speed slides to, to get me to this improvement. Without them, they wouldn't have I wouldn't have gained speed. Or gained time. Start was very good. This first like jump down section is is done really well in my current PB. Jump does not happen when I think it will. I really think there might be some merit to like letting up and then not leaving the ground because of it. Like, I really think that's something to consider. Oh my god, that was insane. And that was insane, but we're not going to talk about that one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that was not good. Of course, I got an, an improvement that happened at like 15 minutes. My little 7,000s of improvement that got me, and I only got because of some small speed slides. Oh. Ooh, okay. I gotta remember that the the, the Actual jump happens very late. And so, if I want to make an attempt at staying on the ground, I have to let up right before I'm going to fly off. I'm letting up in the turn. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm hitting the inside corner of that road. Nice. Pretty solid. A little bit more of a let up just to make sure I keep grip and then go right through the snow. I'm trying to keep grip. I think overall it'll result in a faster time. I do just need to make sure that I don't go through the snow immediately after that. Because that's enough to miss out in any time game that I have. Okay, now I have more speed. It's not by that, not by that, not that much. Oh, I touched the snow. Every little snow touch is just like the worst. Let's try this. All right, here we go. And then, oh, it's not easy. I don't even know if you want, you would have to slow down quite a lot to not get the air there. I think it's just minimizing airtime in a different way. It's not negating the airtime, it's just minimizing it. 
my little feetsies touch the snow and then I'm sliding all over the place. <gasps> okay, well. You know, it do be like that sometimes. That was good. I maintained grip and I have more speed. Okay, more speed. Oh my god. I have more speed and then I... It was five and then I went to two. So you can tell that the speed slide did a tiny little bit of, of work. Good. I touched a little bit of snow. And because of it, I lost all my grip. My grip. Oh, okay. went right through snow and then went off the bridge but it's because I noticed that I'd been right through the snow okay all right I see I see that was good if not a little bit slower. I got a wheelie. Oh my god. Even though that jump that I crashed at, even though that jump is blind, I got it. I, I landed it correctly even on my first try, which kind of speaks to how well the signage and like the vision of the of the like the vision of the of what's to come before you lose sight of it. Because you're going up a hill and it's very open, the track I can I was able to see you're kind of able to see where you're landing way beforehand and so that helps me put the landing position into in into perspective even when I cannot see it <clears throat> because I know where I saw it last and then I can kind of move it with my car be like oh I gotta get off here and then I'll jump and land perfectly <clears throat> and it's intuitive intuitive enough that I can do it and I, and I was able to do it on my first run through so very well signposted even if it is only two green arrows Enough, I think those speed slides at the end are 
extremely important. I mean, the, the reason I got my PB in the first place, but I mean, I'm getting any sort of time now. I'm just going to be missing out if I don't do the speed slides. Oops. Maybe a little too much braking. Oh, and then I just didn't pay attention to the fact that I was going straight into the snow. Yep. I kind of saw that coming, but I had to try. Oh, nice. I'm through the snow again. It's not even worth it. Uh, I crashed into the... I crashed into the... The ice, I guess? Was it a shipping container? There's a bunch of shipping containers in the water. Or in the ice. It's not water, it's ice. And you've got a bridge. Nice little bridge. Is the stadium under here? Somewhere? Yes, it is. <laughs> it always is. It always is under somewhere. to continue that, but sure. I'll believe it. I'll believe it with the big dumb blue skull of the or blue helmet of the driver of my car. I have more speed. You don't want to land sideways like that, though. That will be the, the, the nail in the coffin. Other than on some of the other stuff that happened at the end there, but... Too high up on that wall, Ryan. I want to go high, sort of in the middle of it, and then come down very aggressively. Okay, you go high and then you come down. And you make sure you don't do what I did, which was... Which was, um, giving yourself a rotation right as you leave the ground. Oh my god. Well, that is looking like it's gonna be it for today. Um... I will see you all tomorrow. Or we will tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you all later.